Greetings. This is a tropical cyclone warning video, January 23, 2011. We currently have two storm systems in the southern hemisphere, tropical cyclone Wilma and the newly named tropical cyclone Anthony, which is just off the Queensland coast. And I feel that there is some significant risk with this tropical cyclone. And we'll have a look at the tracks now. OK, we'll have a quick look at the tropical cyclone Wilma. And that's currently moving around from Tonga, the American Samoa region, and now turning back. And it's heading towards the top part of New Zealand. And it is expected to weaken once it does this. Now, it's currently moving across at 95 miles an hour, which is a significantly powerful storm. And it's just away from the danger area of New Caledonia, which was affected um, not too long ago. And it seems that we do have another tropical cyclone in the Coral Sea and that's Tropical Cyclone Anthony. We currently don't have many tracks available and we'll have a look at the Australian site now. OK, here is the Bureau of Meteorology's Australian update of active storms and systems. Now, we do have a tropical low which is up around the Darwin area and I was expecting something to form in this region due to high precipitation levels. And we also have the newly named Tropical Cyclone Anthony and it's fairly dangerous as it is um, just about to strengthen. Now it is a fair way off the coast and moving away and I have the feeling that due to the current um, high pressure system that this actually may force Tropical Cyclone Anthony to head backwards. Here is the track or the expected track for Tropical Cyclone Anthony and it is expected to be moving away from the Australian coast and this is its current position just past Willis Island. I've got a strong feeling that um, this tropical cyclone will will um, enhance and grow to a um, perhaps a tropical cyclone level 2 and stall in around these regions perhaps January 25 and then bend backwards and head towards the coast. Now the main reason for this is due to the high pressure system that's moving in underneath and that will present a high likelihood that this storm will actually turn backwards. OK, we're looking at cactus and this is a digital representation of halo CMEs that were recorded on the 13th of January 2011. Now this instrument is a digital representation from Lasco C2 and this is a good tool because it gives us an idea of the actual positioning and the likelihood of a potential uh, significant storm. Now the symmetry with the solar ejections of this type um, I correlate with tropical cyclones, tropical depressions, hurricanes, typhoons, etc. Fairly cyclonic and wild weather. And I was expecting one or two events towards the end of the month. And I was talking to Weather or Nut about the likelihood of two um, tropical cyclones heading our way um, in Australia, uh, potentially. And it looks like we may be having the effects with Tropical Andrew with this event. This is the 18th of January and there was another uh, full halo CME that was recorded, perhaps slightly more powerful. So it, it does appear that we may be receiving another tropical cyclone perhaps in a week's time based on this um, data. Here is the latest information from the Bureau of Meteorology and they're giving us uh, an indication that Tropical Cyclone Anthony will continue to move east away from the coast while slightly intensifying during the next day or two and it poses no immediate threat to the Queensland coast. Now, I've got a feeling that this is going to change over the next 24 hours or so. I do believe that there will be a risk of this tropical cyclone um, making landfall. OK, here is the animated forecast from the Bureau of Meteorology, and this is a fairly good tool. We're looking at the position of tropical cyclone Anthony and the high pressure system, which I feel will play a significant role in this future track. Now, we'll move ahead in time and what we can see is the tropical cyclone is now moving towards New Caledonia and late Monday and it gets to a fairly close point. Now there is a lot of um, fuel and moisture and precipitation being drawn in and I feel that there is a potential that this tropical cyclone could go to a Cat 3 um, at some stage, perhaps even um, Category 4, although it's not in the forecast from the Bureau of Meteorology. But we can see that the tropical cyclone is then starting to turn and you can just see in these last few frames are just starting to bend backwards and this is due to the um, the actual high moving across to New Zealand 
and we do have another tropical cyclone feeding moisture through and um, this to me will send um, this tropical cyclone backwards mainly due to a high above and below and it's going to create a gateway for it to move back through so that's the um, the danger for this and I'm a little bit surprised that these last few tracks um, haven't changed the Bureau of Meteorology's um, uh, future track on this tropical cyclone. I do feel it, re um, it does represent a risk um, in uh, making landfall between Townsville um, and Cairns so there is a risk that it may actually um, create another rain event um, so it is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for watching.